the Vickers hardness test. The hardness of a compressor wheel for a turbocharger is to be measured using the Vickers method. The main principle of this hardness testing method is to press a pyramid-shaped diamond indenter with an exactly defined force onto the test piece and then to evaluate the surface area of the indentation. First, the tester has to prepare his testing machine. He takes the Vickers indenter with the four-sided pyramid and inserts it into the mounting device of the testing machine. He then places the compressor wheel on the support table and rotates the microscope lens into its working position. With a hand wheel, he adjusts the height of the support table until the test piece surface is displayed in focus on the screen. Next, he moves the test piece around on the support table until the right spot for the hardness test is displayed. Now that everything has been prepared, let's begin with the test. After pushing the start button, the diamond pyramid pans down and carefully touches the test piece surface. The test force slowly increases to its specified value. After holding the test force constant for a certain time, the indenter lifts again, pans back and the microscope lens resumes its former position. This is the magnified indentation on the display screen. With the control knob, the tester now places four measuring lines at the corners of the indentation. Doing that, he can easily measure the length of the two diagonals. Finally, he only has to push the input key. The Vickers hardness value will then be calculated automatically. It is equal to the test force F in the old unit kilopond divided by the area of the indentation A in square millimeters. The Vickers hardness of our compressor wheel is displayed on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen.